Islam is extremely popular for several reasons. We're talking about popular in the sense that people keep on accepting it and becoming Muslims despite all of the slander and despite all the propaganda. But despite that, despite that, there's tons of people who are becoming Muslims all over the world. And that can be attributed to Islam itself, right? We're not pressuring anybody. We're not forcing anybody. We're not even doing the missionary thing and telling people, you know, it's like, well, you better become a Muslim or you're going to hell, right? People look into it and it makes sense. It makes sense in a few different ways. First of all, a theology makes sense. It's not complicated. It's not it doesn't go against your reason. It doesn't go against your intuition. It doesn't go against basic common sense. There's one God. Just worship that one God. How could it get any simpler? There's no three persons and homeostasis and the divine nature and but also the human nature. Come on, what is this? Right? And so when somebody is used to just this kind of nebulous, confusing, mumbo-jumbo, philosophical imagination of some sort of three but one God, and then they're like, oh, there's just one God? That's it? And I, I just worship him? That's it? <sighs> Finally, this is the clarity, the simplicity I've been looking for. That makes sense, right? Uh, it also makes sense from a, a, a position of worship, right? Our religion is not just singing songs, right? It's not just showing up to the to the mosque once a week. There's five prayers you have to do every day. There's 30 days you have to fast in a year. There's the pilgrimage. There's the cat. There's all these sorts of things. It's comprehensive. It touches every aspect of your life. And if we're going to imagine that we had to become better people, we're going to imagine that we had to actually go out of our way to build a relationship with our creator, we would imagine that we'd have to do a little bit of work, right? It wouldn't be some sort of automatic thing where we just show up and sing a few songs and then we are saved. Really? Is that it? It makes much more intuitive sense. And a lot of people feel that when they come into Islam. It's like, this is an actual faith. This is actual work. This is actually me becoming a better person. And the other thing is that Islam has guidance for every single aspect of your life. And that flows from the second uh, point is that other religions, they only, they only give you part of the story. They only cover part of what you're going to face, whether it's, uh, you know, how to be a nice person or how to talk to other people or whatever. But what are you going to do when you die and you have to split up your inheritance? What are you going to do when your parent dies and you have to split up the inheritance? Who should get how much, right? Uh, how should you, uh, you know, structure a business contract so that you're not exploiting other people so that it's valid, okay? What about gambling? What about substances? What about alcohol? What about uh, you know, now we have uh, marijuana dispensaries and things like this. What about all the sorts of ethical and unethical things that come our way every every day? What about uh, what about pornography? Right? What about uh, TikTok? <laughs> what about you know every single thing that comes up? Does your religion have something to say about it? Islam has something to say about it. And we would imagine, if we imagine that God is just and merciful, that He's not going to let us just wander around blindly. He's not going to keep us guessing. He's going to give us concrete, sensible instructions and guidance for pretty much everything that we're going to face.